babe, I'm an ambitious girl. <laughs> You're just small time. Liberty City is in shock today as the police and emergency services deal with the aftermath of a devastating attack on a police convoy this morning. As yet, no details have been released about the prisoners being transferred in the convoy, and no group has claimed responsibility. The convoy left police headquarters early this morning for a routine transfer of felons to Liberty Penitentiary. The attack took place on the Callahan Bridge, leaving few witnesses and the bridge itself severely damaged. Some of the convicts are thought to have perished in the explosion that followed the initial attack. Revelations as to the professionalism of the attack struck police hours afterward, when identification of the missing felons were further hampered by an attack by computer hackers on police headquarters databases. With the Porter Tunnel Project falling behind schedule, this disaster leaves Portland isolated from the rest of the city. Come on! Senor Dickhead, it's no problem to kill you. You're gonna be sorry. Aye, aye, get lost. Placed on the edge of the red light district where we can lay low. But my hands are all messed up, so you better drive, brother. This is Hit Radio Love Media Station. Just one of 900 radio stations, 300 TV stations, four network, three satellites, ten senators. Thank you. place right here. Let's get off the street and find a change of clothes. I go in and talk to Luigi. Say hello to Eight Ball, ladies. Eight Ball's got some business upstairs. Well, maybe you could do me a favor. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Remember, no one messes with my girls. So keep your hands on the wheel. If you don't mess this up, maybe there'll be more work for you. Now get out of here. Mine. If 
my kid. How can I exploit something I own? Exploitation. Sound like a communist. Kids in Russia, they don't work. That's why everything's so messed up over there. Get the wait line for toilet paper. And their space station was made out of paper. I am missing. We're just living as the American way. That, and the only thing more American is how folks work for you. That sounds a little oppressive. Even oh, just really? I Exactly, but you hit the nail on the head that time. My kid, tell him you shut the schools down, make the kids work. That book stuff all for sissies anyway. And, and doctors, and politicians, lawyers, and whatever. I, you know, I can't be bothered. Luigi said to, to give you this, so here, here, take it. There's a new high on the street. Goes by the name of Spank. Some wise guys have been introducing this trash to my girls down Portland Hop. Go and introduce a bat to his face. Then take his car, respray it. I want compensation for this insult! somebody hey, about their life. Hello, caller. You're on the air. Hi, Leslie. My name's Martha. I just love your show. I always listen to you when I'm getting my fully irrigated. I just wanted to say something about the internet. You know, the highway and the World Wide Web. Yeah, I know all about it. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I mean, it's incredible. I know a lot of people say it's absolutely a load of crap, but how could they be? <laughs> single men in this city. All right, let's go over to here to line 79. Hello, you're on Chatterbox. Hello, uh, is that Laszlo? Uh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow, I'm on the radio. How exciting. Oh, thank you, Laszlo. Um, is this on the radio? I mean, am I actually on the radio right this second? Uh, uh, yes, you are. Uh, I'm sure it's very exciting for you, but uh, what do you want to talk about? Oh, man, I mean, what, what, what else is there? I can go on all day, but oh, you know how it is, don't you, Laszlo? Uh, not really. Uh, what's your name? What did you call about? Uh, 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 I'm sorry. I'm uh, Maria. You know, Maria, like Mamma Mia. Only difference, you know, but, you know, men. M-E-N. <laughs> no, it's a dirty word. Only There's only three letters. You, you know what I mean? I mean, you're broke.
themselves down to the park, prepared to bring democracy back to the So, uh, what's this rally about, Jeff? It's about people. Talk to you. All right, Mick. I'll talk to you later. How you doing, kid? The Don's son, Joey Leone. He wants some action from his regular girl, Misty. Go pick her up at Hepburn Heights, but watch yourself. That's Diablo turf. Then run her over to his garage in Trenton and make it quick. Joey ain't the kind you keep waiting. Remember, this is your foot in the door. So keep your eyes on the road and off Misty. My side is Brother Marge. Only one thing on their mind. A chance to make it there. Bring your friends. Nothing shows a man how much you need to have more than a chance to walk together for justice. Bring your kids. They can paint signs and leave them a face painter and a vegan barbecue. Bring your parents. Dude, even their elderly care about tomorrow. I understand that. It sounds like a great rally, but we're not a political station and you haven't really told us why people should do this. What is it about? Look, look. Do you want to help or not? I don't know what I'm helping. We'll make him up a little now, huh? Watch the money! Oh, please come, everybody. It'll be real good. All right, you fight the power, brother. Say, later on in the show, if you're into uh, health foods or martial arts, we'll have a special guest just for you. This guy's really special. Kind of like a romantic cruise, but he can't walk on water. All right, let's go to the phone. Hello, caller, you're on Chatterbox. Huh? You're on Chatterbox. What's on your mind? Wow, I can't believe it. <laughs> Do you have a question? You... Joey! Am I gonna get to play with your big ends again? I'll be with you in a minute, Sparkplug. Hey, I'm Joey. Luigi said you were reliable, so come back later. There might be some work for you. Full array? in over 140 countries around the world. In the past, there's been some criticism about our workers. That's why I'm here at one of the Eris factories so you can meet some. and the quality of our shoes. Eris Running Shoes, always running from something. Some Diablo scumbag has been pimping his scuzzy bitches in my backyard. Go and take care of things for me. If you need a piece, Go around back of Amnon Nation opposite the subway. Damn police. Hearts and organic food. I mean, it's kind of like putting ice cream on pizza. Both are great, but they really shouldn't be put together. Okay, guys, no, nothing like ice cream on pizza. Ice cream milk based, as we all know, and I am lactose intolerant. And pizza, as you may know as well. It's no trouble for you. Thank you, my name. Oh, that's what I mean. I gotta see why. Yep, I've been drinking again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's no good. 430 year old monk. He's still drinking. Okay. If you have a question for Reed, we'll be taking calls in a little bit. I think we all went through a ninja period. You know, I had the Chinese stars and the nunchucks. This is not a period, lad, though. This is the way of life. Thanks to a strict vegan diet, I had the power of nine men. After morning meditation and a three-bean salad, I could chop a bus in half. Sometimes. 
no offense, but you're kind of a scrawny, pasty dude. And it says on the inside cover of your book that you still live in your parents' basement. Okay, if, if not a basement, I prefer to enter your... Policeman's ball is being held at the old school hall near the Callahan Bridge, and they'll be looking for some old school action. Now, I got girls all over town walking the street. Get them to the ball. They'll make a bundle. Get as many of them as you can before the cops drink away their green. You carnivore, why don't you go gnaw on a bone like a gorilla bad though? Our ancestors didn't eat chicken wings. They lived at one with nature in their ecosystem, subsisting on a diet of nuts. Hey, get lost, you! Fry your prejudice. You see, I once thought like you before my master took me under his wing and taught me the joys of soy and origami. Concentration begins in the mind and spreads to all the extremities of the body. You must use the language of the body, not the tongue. And the language of the body begins with raw and quick again fashion. Just look at me. I tear a phone book and have them with bare toes. In fact, that I could easily chop this desk in two half desks. This desk is made of two-inch thick composite wood pulp and has a mahogany veneer finish. It has three drawers and knowing this station it cost $100. In his own words, Reed Tucker is about to smash it into two half desks. Take it away, Reed. Ladies and gentlemen, I already visualized the desk in two half desks. And now I shall make it so Dragon stands. hey -ya! Oh! Oh, oh Lalo! Lalo! I think I hurt my hand in my... Pinky's all bent the wrong way. Listen, Karate Kid, the desk is still in one piece. Thanks for coming on the show. Okay, lad, the mockery will get you nowhere. I think I'm gonna hit you now. Oh, I bruise easily. Don't throw any tofu or bean curds at me. He very funny, lad, though. You didn't make fun of me, but it's all the fault of the punk's way in here. Downright disgraceful. Yes, it makes you talk like this. Okay, the listener lines are open. This is Chatterbox. You're on the air. Hey, Laszlo. That last guy was a lunatic. Where'd you think him up from? The state movie bit? That wacko you had going on about killer bees? What a moron! I mean, just read a newspaper. Killer bees. Uh, they equal to artificial sweeteners and soda pop. Roswell. It's all part of the government's propaganda plan. I might as well wear a stud like this. They're propaganda right into my brain. Come on, do you honestly believe the NSA echelon system is already reading emails and recording your own conversation with you? It's all designed to frighten us so we don't complain about our rights being taken away. Like, whatever what you man to come up with today. Uh, well, I mean, you realize that the government listens to this station, and, and if they weren't paying particular attention to you before, they're probably going to be following you now. Oh, yeah. Hey, look, they already got me once. But never again. <laughs> Do you have anything else to say? Yeah. 
free Kevin. All right, we're talking about short guys, killer bees, the Magna Carta, chill. Ah, huh? well, the red light on the wall is flashing, which means that the owner of the station has an important announcement to make. Let's go live to his office. Hello, my name is Donald Glove. You're listening to a Love Media Station. Enjoy. Wow, man, that was deep. You know, I really like working here. This station, it feels like my second family. <laughs> Except that we have a snack machine. And I tell you, working here beats the hell out of digging sewage ditches outside Kuala Lumpur. All right, let's go to the phones. Hello, caller. You're on Chatterbox. Well, old well, man, I was that ain't when you talked to earlier. I mean, do these guys realize how wussy they sound? I mean, they, they have the nerve to call crackers this. And they say aluminium instead of aluminum. I mean, what's up with that? They all think they sound so smart with a little funny accent. I mean, I got something for them. Speak English, you limey moron. Well, you know, I think they were speaking English before we were. Uh, the people over here were speaking Shoshone and Cherokee. Man, Cherokee. Football, now that's an American sport. It, it teaches you good, wholesome American values, man, like like stealing other people's land by force and, and wearing tight pants while you do it. What are you talking about? I'm talking about being a man, Laszlo. Something you wouldn't know anything about from the sound thing. I'll tell you, I bet you play wimpy stuff like like touch football and, and, and basketball. Look, I'm running around the court bouncing the ball and I'm seven foot three. I'm telling you, man, 